Sarah Stringer and Story on Main. My name is Holly and Knight, and it is my job to guide you to quilt with confidence. Today, we are finally officially kicking off the Quilting Rock Stars, our weekly video podcasty vloggy bit. And I am joined by the amazing. Hi, I'm Darcy. <laughs> From Darcy Sews <laughs> and String and Story. Yay! <laughs> um, so if you've been around here for a minute, you know that String and Story has a long history of doing live videos. Can you turn the AC up? Because it's loud. <laughs> uh, we have a long history of doing live videos. Historically, we have had social time inside our Quilting Rockstars Facebook group. And as we are having more and more Quilting Rockstars join us on various platforms, we've decided that YouTube is going to be a wonderful central hub for us to gather together each Thursday and hang out and sew and chat um, and spend some time with y'all. So if you are here live, first of all, can you let me know if you can hear us? Um, say hi in the chat. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Let us know if you can hear us. We're trying out a new and fancy microphone. And maybe we should bring it a little closer to us. Maybe. maybe. We'll try to keep it out of the frame. It's not oh. all cute. It's I figured we could, like... it's blue. That's it is like, blue. Yeah. Brand. That's, you know, I did buy that on purpose. I paid an extra to get the blue, blue Yeti microphone. Um, hey, Cindy. Great to see you. Uh, so, yeah. Rockstars, we are here. Now, oh, the other thing is if you are here and you enjoy... Uh, tuning in with us. Make sure you hit subscribe so you can find us next time. All right? Yes. All right. What are we working on today? Darcy, what are you working on and why is it important? Well, I am folding up a lot <laughs> of fat corner bundles today because we have, you guys have been like absolutely buying up all the fat corner bundles. So my hands will never stop folding. That is, that's where we are. Yeah, it's... Um, right now I'm working on a color palette that matches our Halloween colors. Oh, and by the way, happy Yay. September, everybody. Happy crafting season. It's crafting season. It's what do you have season. Up first? I know. It is uh, back to Hogwarts September 1st. I hope you have your ticket for the Hogwarts Express. We're going. I'm already dressed in my robes. You are dressed. I'm not. I need to get my robes on, man. Listen. Um, but yes, what are you guys working on right now? I have like 1,000 projects going at my house currently as yeah. you know we're moving into my cozy crafting season <laughs> i love that it's cozy crafting season so much all right let's see judy is here jenny is here you're about to watch the fmqa video and saw this yay hey. luann is here welcome y'all how's the audio those of you who have joined us before um does the mic improve the audio quality we're curious we're experimenting we are learning um yeah so darcy's working on folding these bundles this is the kate bundle um, what fabric does the Kate bundle well, match? As we're talking about spooky crafting season, let's just go ahead and chat about that. Yay! We have this absolutely gorgeous um, fall fall fabric, which uh, y'all better buy because I'm about to cut yeah. into that. Yeah, Darcy's about to be like, and it's all mine. This and is Twilight by Beth and Janine for Dashwood Studios. This one is the, what are what are the names of these? I, am, um, I think I called this one... Pumpkins? Pumpkins. Moss? I think this is pumpkins. It's so pretty. They're all labeled in the shop. Yeah. The, there's the a nice link in the mushrooms. caption of this video. I, the death cat mushrooms are everything. There's little so like, good. oh, they're so good. And then we have two versions of bats. We love the bats. Are so cute. Just they are absolutely so cute. Adorable. Look at these guys. They're, a, oh, oh. That one's cool. on like a, what would you say? A tealy blue kind of? Yeah. Background? I called it navy in the shop, but okay. it's like a warm navy. It's not a really dark, like it, in contrast to this navy, right? Like it's not a really dark navy. Yeah. It's like a bright, right after sunset kind of navy. Yeah. yeah. That, that's a good uh, navy. There we go. word for it. So there's another bat in gold. gold. Those are pretty <laughs> together. They are really pretty together. Like those two colors are oh, very so nice. Good. And then this might be my absolute favorite. Owls. <laughs> Owls and the little snakes on it. This Okay, the snakes, I didn't realize there were going to be snakes on it when I bought it. Like, I just hadn't noticed. And then when I noticed the snakes, I fell in love with them. They're so cute. They're adorable. They're and like the two sweet Slytherin. Yeah. You know? I know. I'm a Slytherin. So what house are you guys in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Since we're going back to Hogwarts, <laughs> what house are y'all in? I'm a Gryffindor. I'm a Slytherin. Yay. <laughs> we're like um, Harry's son and Draco's son that became besties in Cursed Child. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> this is us. This, this is, is us. us. <laughs> okay. And then our last Halloween fabric here is... The audio is great. The audio is great. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And you just got to hear that in the best audio ever. <laughs> I'm glad that y'all just got that like directly into your brains. You're welcome. <laughs> so here we have bats. 
Bats. No, this is not bats. This is mallets. I'm sorry. Mallets. The mallets are so cute. There are bats on here too. There are bats. There are moths. Mm -hmm. There are spiders. There are spiders. But the death's head hawk moth is what really does it for me. I love. Um, it has the. It has a little skull. Look at. Look at. I know the spider does too. They're so sweet. We love them. I don't listen. I'm an October baby. Um, so you would think I love Halloween. Uh, but I, I don't because I'm a scaredy cat. But when I saw this fabric, I was like, this makes me want to love Halloween. So Darcy's working on me. She wants me to love Halloween. Uh, so we're we're working on improving my passion for Halloween. That's what I'm talking season. about. <laughs> I can understand that it's a Halloween baby because then everybody's all excited about, or not a Halloween, you know, an October baby. So this truly, y'all, I'll, I'll let you in on the drama of this. One of my best friends growing up, her birthday was October 17th. Okay. My birthday is October 27th. Oh, that's Here. so close to Halloween. Well, too. and oh, that's yeah. a problem. Well, and the problem is, is that the birth, the weekend between our birthdays, because her birthday was first, she would send out birthday invitations right at the beginning of October when it was too early for me to be sending out birthday invitations because my birthday wasn't until the end of the month. But she would snag that weekend in between our two birthdays. The weekend after my birthday was always yep. Halloween. Yep. And then my mom's birthday is in November. So we had a rule in our house. I got October, she got November. So that meant that if I didn't celebrate my birthday with friends by the end of the month, like game over, it was mom's turn, which like I get because listen, I make my birthday a whole, it's a national holiday. It is a Same. whole thing. I think the 27th falls on a Thursday. So like there will be streamers. On oh, this I'm video so excited. When we get there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm here for a celebration. It's going to be great. I don't care if it's National Pancake Day. I am down to celebrate. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm here for it. So yeah, it just, it just was a point of contention that it was yeah. always like, oh, well, we'll just go trick or treating together for your birthday. That's so sad. I don't like that. Yeah, it, like wasn't, that it wasn't. I feel fun. like that's fair. I feel like yeah. we're getting, this is like our, our therapy session. We're yeah. getting to the root of the trauma right yeah. now. No, it really, it was a, and it was one of those things that like, there was never, like, it was never something that could be discussed with this friend of like, even could we co-celebrate? That right. was never offered. That was never like, it just was, meth and she, her mom would throw like a really big party. And then like, I would maybe get like two girls to sleep over. And I was like. That is just that not sucks. even fair. Yeah. I don't like that. It was really distressing. We're change and someone who really loves my birthday, it was really distressing. <laughs> We're going to change that this year with like all the fun. All the fun. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Rachel's been harassing me for like a, a month on like, what are we doing for your birthday? What are we doing for I'm like, you and Darcy talk. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. We're going to talk. <laughs> yeah. We'll make plans. Rachel, call me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> call me, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Grace is my great town is October 30th. Uh, listen, October is the best month to be born in, but I hope they love Halloween. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's going to be, that's going to, if not, just make sure they get a good celebration earlier in the year. That's true. I am redeemed. Okay. More drama. You want more drama? I do want okay, more drama. We're supposed to be sorry, but here's the drama. So we had COVID two weeks ago and I was the last one to get it. First part of last week, so like almost two weeks ago now, was super sick and then started to feel better by like Wednesday of last week. And then, and y'all, this is why we wore masks in the shop last week, okay? So just remember, we wore masks, we had the air filter running, everyone was safe, it's all fine. So I feel comfortable telling the story. But um, when I got into the shop on Thursday, I noticed my energy just was tanking. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I must have been even sicker with COVID than I thought. Like I, I was feeling so much better, but now like, being here is just really taking it out of me. What's going on? And I got worse on Friday and I got worse on Saturday. And well, I, I'm glad you got to take most of, most of Saturday off, honestly. I couldn't get out of bed on Saturday, y'all. No. I woke up. I had, I don't even think I told you all of this because there were people in here when I got here. I woke up Saturday crazy. morning. It was insane in the best way. It was. Vomiting so hard, I pulled a muscle in my stomach. Oh, God. That's awful. Today was the first day I woke up not having stomach spasms. No. <laughs> and I was like, what in the actual fresh hack is this yeah, because i thought i was almost like better today. i feel so much better it's, i feel I'm so much lunch. better I'm, I'm looking forward to lunch but other than that i'm feeling good and i like and i was and i tested negative for covid on saturday so it wasn't like it was lingering covid which was what i originally thought john was saying you've picked something else up you've picked something else up. i was like that's crazy making like no i didn't ian woke up monday morning pale complaining of not feeling good we send him to school. That kid got off the bus and I got an immediate phone call. He has a fever. Come get him. Look at this. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. I knew that that was in there, but then I forgot. Okay. I like, so we'll, like need, we'll need to job. add one in for that. I love that. Okay, sorry. Continue. Um, so he's been home all week with a fever. We took him to the doctor. Sure enough, we picked up some bonus virus from like, we had COVID. We had no immune systems. We were exposed to something we picked. So it started with me. Ian's had it all week. Today, Jim has this terrible cough and was pale and was complaining they didn't want to go to school. And bless my sweet husband. This was totally fair. He tried so hard to put Jim on that bus this morning because he's already had a sick kid at home all week. And y'all have amazed us with how much you've loved the Free Motion Quilting Academy kits. And so I've been here all week working on stuff. And a lot of t- making sure that Ian's okay and taking care of Ian has fallen on John. And it was a very busy week for him at work. So he's had a really hard week. So I want to give him like all the validation on that. That being said, I picked a fight at the bus stop this morning. It was like, we're not putting our kid on the bus. And he was not happy with me. He just texted me. Jim has a fever. Oh my God. So would he have had to get picked up three hours into the school day? Yep. Yes, he would. Yes, he yes, would. Yes, he would. So was my mama instinct correct? Yes, it was. I love what my mama instinct I feel so validated, listen, because he was so upset with me this morning. And I just was like, I'm telling you, he will spike a fever before lunch. Like, he will spike a fever before lunch. Yep. And sure enough, now, the unfortunate thing is that means probably going to spend most of this weekend not feeling great. Oh, no. Maybe he'll, he usually gets over stuff faster than Ian. So maybe he'll kick it really fast and we can still go hiking Sunday or Monday. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Oh, thank God. We can't go camping, I I know. (laughs) We were all going to go camping this weekend. And then we had to cancel it because of a lot of things. Of a lot of things. There were a lot of health things involved. But we were like, this is a terrible plan. We were all going to end up We were all tired from sickness. My husband got a vasectomy. Yay, Edward. We love Ed. So we just needed a rest weekend, you know? Yeah. That is where we were. That's where Sorry we were. if you're on here, Ed, that I just shared your news with everyone. Yeah. The, the doctor came out and was like, congratulations. <laughs> we love this doctor. My gosh. I don't even know him, but I love him. Um, it was so funny. So good. Can we move these so they can see what you're doing? So, oh, yeah, absolutely. There's pretty, pretty colors. I'm working on more fat corner bundles. That's all I do with my life now. Listen, y'all love a good bundle. And I love y'all loving a good bundle. So we just had Free Motion Quilting Academy signups. There are 273 amazing rock stars in this cohort. And we launched kits for the first time. I'll get the kit. Yay! And the kits are like, it's so much fun. I mean, I know personally, I love getting a kit. I love opening a box and having all oh, the pretty this things. Happy mail. And it I put is. like a pretty little thing on the top of it. It is. So inside these kits, we have these bundles that Darcy's working on, and we've got quilting gloves. There's a pack of needles in here, three spools of Orifil thread, two of them variegated because we're all yes. about that life right now. A couple of quilt panels, <laughs> some half yards, and then there's a batting down in here. And I put this together. I was like, these are some of my favorite things for free motion quilting, and these are some things that rock stars can use to practice. And, and to make, make your, your final um, project. Yeah, your final yeah. project. I got myself a bundle to make my final project as I work through the course. Whoop, whoop. Which, which bundle did you get? Because I think you have it over here. I did. I do. I did. <laughs> I do have it here. I have the Heather bundle for my um, project because I just feel like, I don't know, is it like that perfect kind of like moody fall it's color? Moody fall. Yeah. I love that it's moody I love fall. a moody fall. Um, so this is going to be my final project. I love that. I Yay. love that. So yeah, so y'all have amazed us. We are so delighted. We are making all the kits for you. So Darcy's working on some of those fat quarters. I'm sewing on Astra because I've been working on kits all week. And I was like, I just want to sit and sew for a second. So I am making kind of moody fall, kind of crisp, fresh fall. I don't know. I guess it's more like fresh fall. It does feel like fresh fall. Yeah, Yeah, fresh fall. Um, With the Fabulism Sprout Wovens. And then some plain navy for the background. So it's got this really yummy texture to it on this so fabric. And as you can, yeah. like, you can see the light through it when you hold it up. You can see the daylight. Oh, yeah, you can see the daylight. <laughs> um, which is funny because that I think that does show it. it's a pretty loose weave. It tightens up a lot when it's washed, but it's a pretty loose, uh, loosely woven, woven fabric. So you know. <laughs> oh, Ian's fever's back too. Dang it. Everybody's sick at your house. Everybody again. is sick at my house. <laughs> God bless. Um, I'll at least show you. At least this is one that I'm not wearing. I'm like, I already had it, and That's it's also true. just a childhood bug. It's not like, yeah, COVID, you know. Okay, I'm going to show you the thing that I've been working yes. on. Speaking of the Heather bundle, so Brittany from Lo and Behold Stitchery um, reached out a, a little bit ago and mm-hmm. asked if I would be willing to test 
a pattern for her. And I was so excited about it because like her patterns are just phenomenal. You still, you tell this story so graciously. So I definitely told Brittany, like, just tell Darcy to do it. It'll be fine. <laughs> I like fully volunteered her. I was like, Darcy, I'll test that for you. Did I ask Darcy? No. Did Darcy will, say yes? Yes. I will test every pattern that Brittany, Brittany's like, I have 12 patterns for you to test. I'd be like, immediately, immediately yes. yes. <laughs> All of the patterns, give them to me. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> we don't love Brittany or anything. You know? Yeah, I, don't I know what would give anyone that idea. If, every time that Brittany's on here, I feel like we embarrass her, but she's so amazing. I feel like we are particularly gifted at embarrassing Brittany. I know. Yeah. She, like, she's just so amazing. Her pattern writing skills it, are. Yeah, and we can't keep our patterns in stock because they're so good and we love them so much. I know. So this is a good problem. So this is a new pattern. This da, da, da. Brittany has revealed this. So this is not like top secret, but yeah. the colors Darcy chose. Ugh. So this is Yay! one of the blocks. I just finished this and it is the mosaic quilt. It will be coming out. So she's doing a course that's coming yes, out. In school. So Triangle. if you're a relatively new quilter or if you really just want to like up your piecing game, yeah. this is going to be all about shapes with points. And deep dive into every type mm -hmm. of point that you could possibly make. It really is. I love that she made these with half rectangles. Yes. So I usually make this shape with a Tri-Rex. Um, here, let me hold up so they can see the seam. Yeah. So I usually make this with a Tri-Rex where you have to have a specialty ruler to cut out this like almost equilateral triangle and then the like wing triangles. But she did that with half rectangles. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And honestly, the pattern itself is like an intensive in everything with points. I love and it's, it. I mean, she's just brilliant in the way that she utilizes fabric cutting as always. And the way that she mm -hmm. has you piece everything. I am a I am an avid chain piecer, so like I yeah. did all of the um, half rectangle <laughs> triangles because that's who I am as a human. That is who so you like are I have all of my piles ready. Now all I have to do is just assemble the whole top. I um, love it. But I got this one done yesterday, and I was just like so thrilled about it. And are these colors also? What bundle are these colors from? Okay, so I had the Heather bundle at home because I was going to use yep. it for my quilt for Free Motion Quilting Academy, and I just pulled the colors out of here. Decided on this this brick color as the background, um, yeah. and then came up to the string and story and stole a bunch of fabric, <laughs> as I do. <laughs> so I pulled. This quote will hang on string and story's wall. So yeah. like it's fine. It's, it's less it's feeling. Approved, it's approved theft. Yeah, <laughs> approved theft. I'm making samples for the shop, so yeah. it feels fair. Um, I pulled a bunch of the lighter colors out of this out of this bundle so that it would really pop against the brick. Mm -hmm. And I think I did the two yellows. And just a it's bunch so of yeah, pretty. a bunch of the lighter ones, basically. So I, I could go. I'm going to have to go through and figure out exactly which ones I did. Yeah, you probably will. Well, but you only needed a fat quarter of each plus the background. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it calls for nine fat quarters. There, this makes there will be nine blocks in the final uh -huh. quilt um, plus sashing. Ooh. And then, yeah, I'm. Like, How many fat quarters are in that bundle over there? Twenty. I have actually Heather, but the other oh. one that you have. How many is that? No, this no, no, is no, it's the middle one. Yep. 13. One. 13. Oh, okay. So that's another one you could start with. Oh, yeah. That'd be an easier starting from. place. The green would be a really pretty background. <laughs> I'm just saying. Or if you pulled that this out. This is Angelica, used, by the way. And then pulled out a few of the darker ones so that it would everything, yeah. everything else would pop off of that yeah. green. Something like that. That one, would be two, so three, pretty. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, there's one more. Nine. There we go. That would be really pretty, too. Yeah. So Angelica or Heather, good starting places for yeah, Mosaic Star. Is that right? Mosaic Star. By Lo and Behold Stitchery. Yep. And this one, by the way, that I held up was Astra by Katie over at Zomco. And oh, we, we have this pattern too. in stock already. Um, and as soon as Mosaic Star comes out, you better believe we'll have it. Fear I not. I really mm. want to do Katie's other pattern. What is that one called? I think it's Art Gallery. Hold on. Let me look it up. Oh, yeah. Look it up. Um, Katie is a phenomenal pattern writer, yeah. too. Yeah. It, her that that Astra was so much fun to make. I did I tested that one as well. <laughs> you did, you did. I will not test clothing patterns, but we'll test all of the quilt patterns. I love so, that so much. There's that. Um, Astra, no, Katie Zomko. Zomko. Okay, while well, you're looking that up, I got to show everybody Havana, y'all. This is watch this. <laughs> Literally curled up like a little peanut on my sewing cabinet. Artwork, it is called like, the artwork quilt. Like, with this cute little bundle in progress behind her over here. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so the pattern is called the artwork quilt and I feel like it would really showcase, it would be great for these Halloween um, fabrics. Ooh, let me see, let me it, see. <gasps> it has bigger pieces, here, oh. hold that up closer. Um, it has bigger pieces, oh, so. Hold on. Low bat, ma'am. It is eleven o'clock in the morning. You're on low battery. It's low battery already. <laughs> low battery. I don't charge it overnight because I'm wild. 
I don't know. You and Rachel can serve a support group. <laughs> I'm gonna plug you over here. Um, so yeah, that one would be like a good one for the Halloween fabrics because it would. Hi, you want to make shop sample? Well. <laughs> I do want to make a shop sample. Yes, let's do it. I want to get artwork patterns in, and we'll make kits. I love this. I love this plan. Okay. Let's do it. Or if you want to go get the PDF uh, fabric, then yeah, uh, Jan, I agree. Havana is the sweetest little girl. Uh -huh. I brought her quilt over here so that she wasn't just who, laying directly on the cabinet. Who is the pattern designer on? Um, for, for Astra, it is Katie, Katie yeah. Zom from Zomco. That's Zom.co. That's the Z -A -H -M. website. Z-A-H-M. Z-A-H-M dot C-O. Yeah. Um, that'll take you there. And then for the um, for this the one, Zanstar. it is Lo and Behold Stitchery. Mm -hmm. That's Brittany from Lo and Behold Stitchery. Yep. She's lovely. We They're adore both lovely. her. We adore both of them. We do. It's true. Great, great designers. Oh man. So what other, do you have any other projects going besides what else? I started quilting Summer Pop over on Ooh. the barn. Um, and then kicked me off Free Motion Quilting Academy, which is super exciting. That is a big um, project. I, yeah. yeah, that truly is one of my big projects. Which like, oh my gosh, this group of rock stars is already so incredible. Love so that. excited. It's so fun getting these boxes packed up for them. Um, and then we'll be heading into fall festival prep. Yes. I need to start making all things. Yeah. And I really, I want to make, actually, I'll show y'all. We, um, hopefully today, I don't know why it's taken them so long to ship, but I ordered Copy of American Patchwork and Quilting to have in the shop because I'm featured in this October's issue, which because, you know, I'm vain, I'm going to show you that. <laughs> um, also, the You're pictures are really so great. Vain. <laughs> vainest person ever. <laughs> you probably think this live is about you. <laughs> <laughs> so, two-page spread. Ah! It's out of very good patchwork and quilting. And so they sent me this copy. And then, of course, I ordered some copies to pull into the shop. But there are some cute little minis in here um, that are free downloads on their website, like this little mini. Look at that. Oh, Look how cute that is. That's oh, so cute. Oh, that'd be fun with the Halloween Exactly. Fabric. So I want to make a couple little, like, that could hang, like, over there or Love hang it. back here. Um, or could be little table toppers for us. Yes. Um, because oh, we know that I'm the slowest piecer here. Like, it, I just am. It is what it is. We all have our uh, things. I, you know, I'm a puttery piecer. This is another one that I think is pretty cute. It's like a pillow. I don't see. I was thinking about oh, making some pillows. That's so fun. So I want to make I want to make a couple like, mini projects. And like these, oh. that, these colors. Oh, yeah. Hold on. This is the Rachel bundle. That would be really fun in a Rachel. I feel like the... Yeah, that would. Could You're you could right. do that like light color for the background so everything else would just like, everything would just shine. Off of it. Oh, yeah. it would be so good. I'm trying to see what oh, and then there was this cute sewing machine cover in here that my friend Lindsay designed that I also was thinking. I don't know that I need one in Ooh. spooky season, but I think I might just need one because it's just, cute. We just need yeah. one in general. Yeah. In basic fabric. Right. Well, and imagine if we put them over like especially our background oh. machines that we don't use as often, so they're not so dusty all the time. That would be really pretty and either of those like um we could use the florals. Wait, wait, wait. Got it. Oh, oh and yes, or, that would be so pretty. Or I was thinking those florals from the Bugs and Butterflies line would be oh, really cute. Yeah, that'd be good too. I just love that this one looks like tile and I yeah. am obsessed, obsessed with that. That's my favorite, hands down. And then there's this and one this that's kind really of similar. Too. And it's a like warmer blue. I just love the tile look of that. Yeah. Like just, oh. So anyway, I want to make a couple of small things. That's my upcoming plan because I'm working on this big Astra quilt. It's queen size, it's going to take me Probably all winter, just to piece it, because this is who I am as a person. That feels fair. I mean, that's also that's a really big quilt. It's a really big quilt, and it's for our room. And um, it, even though it's fall colors, like these are kind of my colors all the time, so I'm not it's, super worried about. Honestly, it's probably nice be like nice in a way being a slow piecer because you have a project that lasts you a long time rather than just that's like true. pounding through projects. Oh, but I love cutting up fresh fabric. <laughs> like I love just like seeing how things cut up and piece back together. And I don't get to do that super often because I'm a slow piecer. But, but is this why you're not a monogamous quilter? Yeah. You quilt many things at I, one yeah. time? Because I feel like I'm a fast piecer, but I do one project at a time. Yeah. I'm very one project at a time. And I, I wish that I could just buckle down and be a faster piecer. That would be great. <laughs> that, that would be great. Hey, we all have our things. You know, we all have our things. So anyway, yeah, that's Free Motion Quilting Academy, your pattern testing. We will be, when uh, Triangle School from Brittany comes out, we'll talk about that course as well. 
that'll be in just a couple of weeks. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Um, yeah, we've been busy around here. Yeah. Love so things. what have y'all been doing? I'm going to assume y'all have also been busy um, piecing things, quilting things. Um, if you're here and you're in Free Motion Quilting Academy, give a holler so I can shout out my rock stars. Holla. Holla. That's you me. are. That's right. Darcy's in Free Motion Quilting Academy. Katie is too. Yay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to message her. Yes, you do. Yeah, she got her kit. It's very exciting. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff going on. Um, something that I'm going to just, I'm going to say this out loud so we both remember it. We should take some photos and videos of working with the Sprout Wovens um, and oh. do a blog post on working with like woven fabrics and linen like fabrics. Um, just because yeah. it is that looser weave. Yeah. Um, and it's got a little bit more ease and things to it. And I think that would be a good thing for us to provide some information on. Yeah. Because if y'all have not yet sewed with this fabric, you need to. So whatever I need to do to make it better. I just signed up for the free motion project. Yay! Yay! Cindy's Yay! a rock star. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do some tutorials on quilting with women's. Love it. That's all. Okay, let's see. Which way does this need to go? I need to put it this way. I'm over here chain piecing. It's my favorite activity. I think part of, I think I need to be more disciplined when I piece about chain piecing because if I get all the pieces together, I will put the quilt together. Yeah. Part of my problem is I do exactly what I've done here. I make one block because I'm really excited to see how it looks and then I know what it looks like and then I quit. Yeah. So my issue largely is that if I don't do all of the pieces, my brain will be like, that one part was really hard and I don't want to do it again. And then I will never get it done. I will never go back oh, to it. Oh, that's so interesting. So I basically have to chain piece in order to like do the whole thing. Okay. Do you have to start with the hardest part or does it matter? Doesn't as long matter. as whatever stuff you're I on, you do it all the yep. way through. Yeah, uh -huh. I could start with any part I want. Like I usually just start at the beginning of the instructions, but where it's like, right now we're going to make flying geese. I'm like, well, we're going to make all of the flying geese. Right, we're going to just pattern. get it done. Yeah. Okay. So this is like an eat our vegetables first. I realize yeah. that some of these I have wrong side facing up and I'm just gonna let that be what it is. We're gonna call that a design element in this That quote. is a design. It, some will sparkle more than others because the yeah. X on the um, wrong side is like darker. That's true. That's really cool. That's true. It'll be fun. I love the decisions you made. <laughs> <laughs> we call these decisions, it's really, I just don't pay attention. <laughs> um, Oh, you too, Jan, you do this as well? Okay, it's not just me. It's not just me. Oh, no, I'm sure that for everything that we all do, there yeah, are people are out there. Yeah, yeah. All right, these are done. Yeah, so these go with that um, Halloween fabric. Uh, that cape bundle. Now, we did make a substitution in this cape bundle. If you saw them earlier, uh, we did have jade up here, and now it is dark sea green because uh, we ran out of jade because y'all loved it. Um, it's on its way, but it won't be here till next week. And I decided I didn't want to wait for y'all to be able to have those bundles. And that green is in the snake. So it very much still matches. It just matches oh, yeah. the dark color of the snake instead of the light color of the snake. We love that. Yeah. And if you want to be totally wild, you could get another one next week and then you can have both the colors of the snake. And you can have both colors of the snake. <laughs> snake. The, sn the snake. The snake. The no-no noodle. The no-no noodle. Oh my goodness, do we have a snake story? Oh yeah. man, we do have a snake story. Listen, this... If you're not familiar with social hour around here, that's basically what this is. And it is just going to be us telling goofy stories while working on stuff. I'm hoping it'll help me get this quilt done. I love that. It's really important. And like maybe some of my uh, Orifo color builder stuff done. Oh, yeah. All of that. Yeah. That. I, yeah. We, by we, I mean you. I'm being nice. I, yeah. No, it's fine. Um, this is my finish a long time. Okay. So snake story. Snake story. This was, when was this? Early June? summer. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I had gone... What to get lunch Maybe with pie. Alicia? Yeah. No, Alicia was here. I think we went to pick up Pure. Oh, that was that's right. You're right. Yeah. So one of one of our rock stars was here sewing with us for the afternoon, and um, she had some stuff that she was working on, and just she just set up camp and was working with us, and we were hanging out. It was big fun, and we were like, you know what? It's Friday. We're working on projects. We get to sew together. We're gonna we're gonna splurge, and we're gonna go down and we're gonna get lunch from Pure. And we're gonna get margaritas middle of the afternoon on Friday. Why not? Really good idea. It was a really great idea. And it got, it was a better idea because of what happened next. So we come back down and we see this Duluth cop laying on his stomach, looking under a car. 
And we're like, is it gonna blow up? Like, do we need to be worried? Like, what's going on? And we're it's like right outside of our window. Like right in here. Yeah. Yeah. And like we can see it out the window. And I was like, so what's going on? And he was like, oh, there was this big snake. And then like one of the Duluth Public Works guys comes out from behind the tree where he had been looking around. He's like, there was this big snake. And it just went right across the grass and up under this car. We're worried it's in the car. And I was like, all right. And so they spent the next 45 minutes poking around this car, trying to figure out where the snake went, trying to get it out. There were like three construction workers. Three construction workers. A couple more police officers. A couple, a couple more police. I think there were three <laughs> cops out there at one point. Two guys from Duluth Public Works. It was like 10 people gathered around this car. And we just stood in this window. Sipping our margaritas. And, <laughs> and eating guacamole. <laughs> Watching these, watching the police officers try to catch a snake. <laughs> they were unsuccessful, um, but it was really fun. Later, I walked by him and I was like, "So, do you ever get the no-no noodle?" And he just was, he just started laughing. He was like, "We did not, incidentally, <laughs> we sure did not." But they were like really freaked out about it. And I was like, "I feel like the snake is probably gone. I, I don't know where it went, but I feel like it is no longer here because y'all are terrifying." <laughs> But let me tell you, I have never been more glad to have chips and a margarita to just be nosy and that watch was, out my window. One was of the wonderful. greatest days, I think. Yeah, it was one of the greatest days. I agree. Uh, Grace says she's working on Franken batting for FMQ Academy. That is a great idea. Oh my gosh, make all the Franken batting if you're making practice sandwiches right now. Brilliant great plan. Great idea. Teresa says you can make one fabric sandwich and just keep reusing it by putting a clean piece of fabric on top. Um, then to start practicing again, I have had a lot of rock stars do that. So get muslin. And That's the, so smart. the harder part is that unless you change thread color every time, it becomes a little harder to see how your tension's doing on the back. But these are just practice sandwiches. So like your tension doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and so you, it's just the motion of practicing. And so, yes, I've had rock stars go several fabric layers deep, um, practicing various motifs by just adding new fabric on top. Great tip, Teresa. I love that. Yeah. I'm going to have to uh, file that one away. I know, right? Isn't that great? I also really do recommend not using the good fabric for practice. Oh, Unless yeah. you're someone who has a really big fabric stash and you just got stuff in the back that needs to be used. How do I not have more A1s? Huh. Let's see. Fascinating. Yeah. Um, yeah, so unless you just have stuff in the back that needs to be used, go to the big box craft store with a coupon and buy like the $2.99 muslin. You know, it's like $2.99 a yard. Yeah. Get that on sale. Then use your coupon on some 80-20 batting. And that way you've got everything you need. Yes, I have nice fabric and batting here. Would love for you to get some, but for your practice sandwiches, like do that. And then like when when you want to make something nice, you can come get fabric here. Once you start your Astra or your Mosaic Yes, star, yes. I want to spare you because yeah. it's a lot of practice sandwiches and I'm just going to own that. Okay. Have you ever posted a story of how you started your business? Ooh. I, there are a number of podcasts that talk about this. Um, the most recent one is the Bernina We All Sew podcast. Um, that has a pretty good backstory on it. So I would go check that out. Love that. Great question. Great question. All right. What are what are my cutting instructions here that I need to make more? Oh, it's not A1. That was a lie. Okay. Hmm. okay. Confusing. These are not long enough. Sad. Let's see. Someone says it has applique butterflies inside circles or squares. Ooh, that's a nice quilt. That sounds lovely. Yeah, that sounds beautiful. Post a picture um, in the Quilting Rockstars Facebook group or over on Instagram and tag us. Yeah. At String and Story. Seeing quilts is like actually our favorite part of this job. Yeah, the phone call earlier, someone was like, are y'all open today? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, cool, I have a quilt. I'm going to come show you. I was Please. Like, Immediately, yes. And for everybody that's just online, if you guys are ever like, I'm going to take a, <laughs> I'm going to take a pilgrimage to Duluth, to, to Duluth, and Story, yeah. bring quilts. Uh, bring quilts. We, yeah. we love we, to look at them. We will take pictures. We will make you unroll it out on the steps so we can take a video so that we can put it online. We love seeing your work and showing off your work. We do. It's so fun. I love when people bring in the quilts. Also, like, as a newbie quilter myself, it gives me lots of good ideas of things to do on the quilts that I'm making. So I love being able to, yeah, know, just, like, look at lots of things, store lots of ideas. It's fun. Chat with people about how they got to that idea. I find My it really interesting favorite. that you still identify as a newbie quilter. 
Sorry, I got really hung up on that. My brain just now. Well, like quilter, quilter, not like piecer. I feel like I'm a okay, pretty, okay, okay, pretty yeah. uh Okay, that's that's an important distinction. Yes. yes like newer actual, free motion quilter. Newer yeah. free motion quilter. That right. makes sense. Okay. I feel I was like, I feel solid. like as a piecer, you have exceeded me. So I don't I, don't I have know. pretty solid piecing skills. You do. But my uh free motion quilting skills are but those are new. Yeah, yeah. new. That it's makes sense. So much fun to be able to develop that skill. Budding, oh my gosh. So I'm a budding free motion quilter. Budding quilter. free motion quilter. I love that. Uh, I'm in my teenage years. I'm like in my tween years right you're now. Still, you're still playing uh, for the band in the garage. Yes. You're, you're the, at that rock star part of your journey. I am. That is where I am. I love my, that. In my free motion I'm quilting. He, I am here for a good garage band moment. That's yes. Fun. We all have to start somewhere. Exactly. All right. And it is, it's hard, like as an adult to like, feel like you don't know the things it yeah. truly is yeah you want to just be like dive in i know all the things now but you you just can't until you practice it i that's... think that is one of the hardest things for yeah. rock stars joining free motion quilting academy and starting this journey is um just being comfortable not knowing yet and, yeah. and not being good at it yet right like that's one of the biggest things i hear is like i just want to be good already and, and you will be you yeah. will be and I like as somebody I've been sewing for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. So like I am They're very accomplished sewists. Right. Yeah. I sew a lot of my own clothes. I've made a lot of like really intense clothing things and fitting yeah. and you know whatnot. So I feel like I know quite a lot about that. So then when you have to step back and be a beginner at something that's a very similar skill to mm -hmm. sewing, it can feel like a little bit like I don't know discouraging at the beginning yeah. to be like I'm not perfect at this immediately and you know and and that's that, just where it is and I'm gonna if I'm putting words in your mouth no go for correct it. me but I think there's always that little bit of a feeling of you've started the new thing and you're proud of it and you want to share it because you're proud of it but you also don't want people to see the new thing and be like oh like you're only that good of a sewist yes when like in fact you're very accomplished it's this one very specific skill yes so you're new at and it becomes hard to then like properly share and celebrate your milestones and that work and to stick with it because we think we have to wait until it looks really really good to take it to the guild and play show and tell to bring it in here and play show and tell yes to hang it on the wall i think that was one of my favorite things about your um daphne uh and gingery astro quilt that it yes. was the first quilt you free motion quilt. I'm like, we're putting it on the wall. Yeah. And it, it doesn't have to be perfect. It wasn't perfect, but no, it was beautiful. It's not. And that's the important thing. Like, it's, but it's the first important quilt in that journey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it doesn't have to be perfect and beautiful. And I had already had a pep talk about myself when I looked, I turned it over when I was quilting it and saw that I had puckers and saw that it wasn't beautiful and perfect. And I was, well, not, it was beautiful. It wasn't yeah. perfect. And had that pep talk with myself of being like, it is okay. It is okay. We are going to show this because it is okay. Yeah. And it, you know what? It was really fun to have it in here. And you, and she would tell people, she was like, this was the first quilt I ever free motion quilted. And it set folks free. Yeah. Set folks free. So it's yeah. really important to share our journey. I think that's part of why having FMQA as a cohort is really important to me to have people to share your journey with. Yes. Um, and, and then also together. have that aspiration of seeing folks who are ahead of you on the journey and, and where they've arrived at yes. and are continuing to grow, you know? I love that. I love that so much. You know. All right. Susan says that Astra has frustrated her. So, Susan, what has frustrated you and can we help? That's what I want yes. to know. And then um, Jan says, I want to be perfect from day one. Yes. Not I know. That's so hard. You I have relate to practice. To that. <laughs> You have to practice. I love being perfect. I hate having to practice. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that's it's so real. hard for us, us uh, perfect ones, Jan. We know. Those of y'all who are, oh, what have I done? But truly, I do understand. I don't know what I did. We'll just cut thread and try again. Oh, it yeah. got sucked in, and I'm not sure why right there at the end. Oh, we don't love that. No, we don't. That'll be all right. Whoop. We'll just, we'll just try again. All right. That'll be all right. It's a quiet, sleepy morning this morning, I feel like. It is. But like a, it's a, I feel like it's a sweet quiet. I yeah. I am going to go get a sushi donut after this is done. Yes. Sushi donut and a little salad. The new lunch of the moment. I love that. Oh, that salad is so good. It's Shoot. so good. That dressing. That oh is the dressing. It's the ginger dressing. Have you had the one from Trader Joe's? I have. Yes. It's a really good ginger dressing. Yes, it has it like is. the carrots and it's in that little refrigerated section. Oh my yeah. gosh. The, my only complaint 
um, about it is that it goes bad so fast. Yes, and I'm it like, does. I need like a half size bottle. That is true. Ed can't have Ed can't have fresh carrots, so he can't do that. Oh, yeah, he's allergic to like raw vegetables. That's so sad. They have to, to be me. cooked. Uh-huh. I don't think I would live. I yeah, think I would live. I mean, you can live, but it's not a full life, right? It's a half I, life. It's a half life. <laughs> like like Voldemort <laughs> drinking. Uh, uh, yes, I, I was also thinking of that Imogene Heap song. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of he lives a half life, a cursed a life. A cursed life. That's my husband. Okay, Susan has her things to see. I'm using Sprout Woven, so I'm thinking it's using a difficult fabric. Sorry, I'm trying to read it from afar. I've got all the things cut out and separated into blocks, but allowing myself to be stuck. But allowed myself to be stuck. Yeah. What it says. Okay. Okay. Um, I would hit everything with some starch for sure. Yes. Um, I'm definitely. I did not uh, starch mine before we cut it. And I say we, cause Darcy did a lot of this cutting and I, it would be making my piecing journey easier for it to be started. Mm-hmm. So that's part of the tutorial we need to do mm-hmm. about sprout wovens. Um, I did the nightingale with sprout wovens mm-hmm. and I was struggling with it until I, and then I just took all the pieces. I had already cut the pieces and I just starched them all. Mm-hmm. I stopped for like, it gave, I mean, it took me a few hours, but it was worth it mm-hmm. to like save the headache of, mm-hmm. it's a very drapey fabric. Yeah. Otherwise, because of it being so loosely woven, um, because it could, it's also a good garment fabric. It is, it's yeah. Got that nice drape, mm-hmm. but it needs to be starched for quilting for sure. Yes. Um, I will be. I don't always like actually hit things with an iron at this kind of piecing the block stage, but I will be on this. I will. I will be hitting things with an iron in order to add starch so that for future steps things are a little crispier. Yeah, get easier and easier. Yeah. yeah. It is worth it. It's a, a bit of a pain, but it's worth it to like mm-hmm. to, to starch it. Yeah. If you have not already cut, love what I've learned in Free Motion Quilting Academy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Do you like our uniform? Yay! <laughs> now able to quilt my own pieces. Woo, That's I amazing. That. I love it. Way to go, Rockstar. That is exactly the goal. That's what we all want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, That's exactly what it's all about. Yeah. Did Susan say she cut it? I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, I think she said she got it cut. Did you starch? Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll go over it again. Yeah, I would starch it till it's like stiff. stiff. Yeah. <laughs> and it and if you're like me, that you're sitting here looking at all these like little pieces that you've cut out, and you're like, huh? I think even if you were to if, even if you were to starch like your big squares, yes, your center squares, your squares for the geese, the the big uh for the half yeah for those geese, the squares for the other geese. Okay. Um, just starching some of those big pieces will lend a lot of stability. Mm-hmm. Um, because even this, like if I was even just piecing to a starched piece, I think it would be smoother. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I agree with that. Um, you know, you can start with that and see how it helps and then decide if it's worth it to go back and starch all the other little bits. Cause I would be sad about having to backtrack on that. So, yeah. <laughs> if you were sad. Um, since you need to get lunch and the shop is going to be opening shortly, um, if y'all have any last minute questions, do please ask them in the chat. would love to get them answered for you. Um, Madeline says, do starch fabrics still shrink slightly when you use steam? They will just a little bit. Yeah. Um, so it'll actually, it'll tighten up this weave a tiny bit as well. It'll be part of what gives it a little more structure. Um, I wouldn't worry about it at all. I, I never mm-hmm. give a second thought to that. Um, I know no. I, I did. I, yeah. I still got all my points nice mm-hmm. and matchy and I had to be a little bit more like I had to like notice when like, okay, there's a little less seam allowance here, but this one's probably the correct one to follow. Mm-hmm. So like I had some that had like eighth inch seam allowances and mm-hmm. I was just accepting of that. Well, and I don't think I've ever made a quilt where I haven't had to do that, but maybe that's because I'm not that precise. <laughs> maybe I'm just always having to fix I think it. I did a good job on this. You one. did a great job. Oh, look at the back of this block, y'all. <laughs> Look at this. She's got pretty block guts. <laughs> Your block guts are nice, girl. Thank you. Man. We should quilt it inside out. <laughs> that's like the quilt. <laughs> that's like the quilt or quilt of having like a well-organized pantry or a well-organized that's laundry true. room, you know? The, like um, cross well stitch where people look at the back of Yeah, stitch. don't ever do that with my stuff. Never, <laughs> ever, ever. I am not that human. Um, let's see. Susan says my brain needs me to do a block at a time, so I'll have it in boxes separately by paper. I'll grab a black stretch it and get in gear. Oh, that sounds great. So like you can that. just do one at a time. Yeah. Love it. 
Oh, thank you. Yay. Yes. All right, rock stars. Let me just do a quick review down in the caption of this video. You're going to find a couple of really important things. First of all, if you've loved any of the fabric you've seen today or the patterns we've been talking about, you can find them in our online store at stringandstory.com forward slash shop. There's a handy link in the caption of this video. Uh, right below that, I have a freebie for you. If you are here and you're hearing about Free Motion Quilting Academy and you're curious about quilting your own quilts, but you're like, well, darn. The Academy's not enrolling. What do I do now? I have a free workbook for you called the Confident FMQ Workbook. Um, it's got some of my best tips, tricks, and resources in it. It's about a dozen pages long. I would love to send it directly to your inbox. So we've got a link for that. I feel like there's one more link. Do you remember the other link I put down there? Oh, I think I put a link to the blog. We have a lot of resources. So if you are um, a new quilter, you're new to String and Story, and you want to learn a little bit about what's going on and what we're up to, um, or maybe find a good resource for a technique you're struggling with. There are over 300 informational blogs over there, so go check that out. And finally, make sure that you like and subscribe because we will be back here next Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern and hopefully basically every Thursday going forward. That's the goal. That is the goal, you know, barring crazy things, yes. <laughs> Um, so, uh, make sure you like and subscribe so that you can find us and join us each Thursday morning for a little bit of stitching, sewing, cutting up, Chatting. tips, tricks, new fabric, and all of the shenanigans. All right. Have a great Thursday. Yay. Bye for now. Bye.